Okay, for question number four, our equation is y is equal to e to the x times x minus one squared times x plus two to the fourth power. It's a product of three functions. And we are trying to find the first derivative of this. And whenever you have a product of like more than two functions, and especially you have the other exponents here, this is what you should do. Once again, keep algebra in mind. When we have y is equal to e to the x, times x minus 1 squared times x plus 2 to the fourth power. They are all multiplying when we have three different functions. And the algebra that we're going to do is we're going to take ln on both sides. So ln y and then ln of the right hand side. And the reason being is because whenever we take ln of product, it will become a sum. Okay, So on the right hand side, it's going to be the sum of three different things, three different LNs, rather than just you know three different products. So we can avoid use the product rule. So on the left hand side, this is LN y, nothing changed. But then on the right hand side, this will be LN e to the x, and the product becomes a plus, and you will get another LN, and you have x minus one square, and then once again you have plus LN, another LN, x plus 2 to the fourth power. And is there any algebra that we can do? Any more algebra that we can do? And there's, there is ln of e to the x. This is just an x. Okay, because ln and e to the something, they are inverse of each other. And then for the second part, when you have ln of something raised to a power, this power can go to the front and become a coefficient. This is, not, um, this is not a power rule example. We're not taking a derivative yet, so you don't minus one. Do not minus one. This is just a property of log or ln. And right here, when we have ln of x plus two to the fourth power, this four will also be able to go to the front. And we don't minus one because this is not a power rule question. We are not taking a derivative yet. Don't get too excited. Okay. So right here, we'll just write this as ln y equals to, this part is just an x, and then the two will go to front, so it will be plus two ln x, plus, uh, x minus one, and then the four goes to the front, so plus four ln x plus two. And now we are ready to take the derivative because we break down the product into sums, and then it's fairly easy to take the derivative by looking at this, okay? And I will just write here this, d dx, and then with a huge parentheses to symbolically, to symbolically mean that we are going to take the derivative. So the derivative of ln y is going to be one over y, but because y is a function of x, we will need to multiply by y prime, and this will be symbolically the y prime, and that's exactly what we're looking for. Okay, take the derivative with respect to x. Take the derivative of x with respect to x. This is equal to one. Plus, take the derivative of two or um, two times ln x minus one. That will be two over ln of something. That will just go to a denominator, right? Two over x minus one. But you should always check to see what you have inside. And since the inside is just x minus 1, the derivative of x minus 1 is just 1. So technically it doesn't matter, but the chain rule always apply if necessary. So you should always check the, um, for the chain rule. For the third part, plus 4 ln x plus 2, the derivative of that is just 4 over x plus 2. And you multiply it by 1 because the derivative of inside is once again just 1. So this is pretty much what we have. And however, notice that here on the left hand side, we are dividing one over one like this, right? We have a one over y right here. And we are going to multiply both sides by y. This is how we are going to isolate the y prime. This is how we are going to do it. And by the way, this is still one right here. So be able to cancel out the y. And let me write down uh, what we are going to get right here. So we're looking at this as 
y prime equals to and then y is our original equation right here or you can look at this y is equal to e to the x minus e to the x times x minus 1 squared times x plus 2 to the fourth power so we just need to write that down right here e to the x times x minus 1 squared times x plus 2 to the fourth power and then all that so let me write down 1 plus 2 over x minus 1 plus this will be 4 over x plus 2 just like that and then I left a space on purpose because as you can see that this right here it doesn't match with any of the answer choices keep in mind our work has to be exactly the same as one of the answer choices this looks very alike very similar to choice D however they are very much different because this right here is e to the x and this right here is 1 it's not a typo it's meant to be like that and the way to fix this is that we have to do more algebra of the things that we have at the moment and the algebra that we're going to do is we have the 1 plus 2 over x minus 1 plus 4 over x plus 2 we have to add the fractions and for adding fractions keep in mind we have to have the common denominator which is just x minus 1 times x plus 2 so let me fix it so that everything inside will have the common denominator for the first one you'll be x minus 1 times x uh, plus 2 top and bottom x minus 1 times x plus 2 and for the second part I already have the x minus 1 so I just need to multiply by x plus 2 top and bottom and for the third one I already have the x plus 2 so I just need to multiply by x minus 1 like that and now we are just going to focus on uh, how to um, well, do the rest of the algebra and this part will state here we have e to the x times x minus 1 square times x plus 2 to the fourth power and then inside here um, everything here has the same denominator so let me just write a huge fraction and the denominator is x minus 1 times x plus 2 like that so let me put parentheses like this then uh, we have to just try to distribute everything on top and then combine terms for the first part here we have x minus 1 times x plus 2 we just we're just going to fold this out x times x is x squared and then x times 2 is 2x but the moment that you multiply a negative 1 with x you get negative 1 so 2x minus x you get plus x and then you have negative 1 times 2 which is minus 2 okay and for the second part we have to distribute the positive 2 into x plus 2 so 2 times x is just plus 2x and then 2 times 4 I mean 2 times 2 is uh, plus 4 I said the answers anyways the third one positive 4 times x minus 1 so 4 times x is plus 4x and then 4 times negative 1 is minus 4 just like that and now let's see here the denominator is x minus 1 times x plus 2 in fact we can cancel this one out with one of the x minus 1 so this will be just one left and then we have one of the x plus 2 here that can be cancelled with one of this so instead of the uh, fourth power this will be to the third power so this is how we re reduce okay, this is how we do more algebra for this part so here we have e to the x and x minus 1 to the first power times x plus 2 raised to the third power and we have a big parenthesis here and now we just need to combine items inside we just have an x square term right here so that will be by itself like this and notice that here we have the positive x plus 2x plus 4x so x plus 2x is 3x plus 4x is plus 7x and now here we have minus 2 plus 4 which is positive 2 and then positive 2 minus 4 is going to be 
minus 2. So this right here, hopefully, is one of the answer choices. So let me just scroll up right, scroll up right here. And notice that this right here is exactly answer choice A. Answer choice A is secretly the correct answer. It's not D. Don't forget this is not meant to be the well, this is not this is a tricky answer choice. But answer choice A is the correct one. Okay, answer choice A is the correct one. Make sure your answer is exactly the same as one of the answer choices. That's how you do it. This is how you do it.